Hey, it's a regular guy. No, I didn't get any packages in today. I wish I did. I mean, actually I've had several come in recently, but uh, not for this video. Unfortunately, I have a big problem. Okay, so we have the problem statement. Uh, we've got the art division. Some of y'all see my video on the installation of that, but will it fit in my Safari Land holster? And if anybody wants to know, this is the 6354DO. That sounds for Dr. Optic, which I don't have a doctor on here, but it, it provides a, a good big space for a lot of different optics. So look, it will not go all the way in. It will not lock up. It's because it's too thin down here. We're gonna try to see if we can fix that. Uh, let me get my tool set out. First thing we're going to do is unscrew this. Not all the way. You want it to leave it in there so it doesn't pop out. But then we're going to use the old trusty heat gun. And we're going to heat the end of it a little bit just till we can get enough of it through. And then I may have to drum out a little bit. We're going to see, is it going to work? I say yes. Okay, got my tools here. I'm using a three millimeter to just loosen this up just a little bit here. I don't want to get it too far out. Let me see. I've got a little bit of space in there now. I don't want to get it totally separated. Now I might have to reposition the screw if it still won't go, but we're going to try it without it. And I've got a special cloth right here that's damp. It's just a standard <laughs> brown military towel, but it's to keep some of the heat away from this because the, the comp is about right here where it gets small. We're trying to open up this last little bit here and we'll see how it goes. And this is to help keep some of the heat away from it because I don't want to deform the holster. I don't think it will. I've messed with it a little bit before. Let me turn it where you can see it. I'm going to heat up both sides. I'm not trying to get it super hot, just barely pliable. Some of y'all have seen my short video where I was working on another holster, but um, this is something, uh, I'm not going to say tried and true method. I kind of came up with it myself. All right. It may take a few times. I don't. Y'all don't have to watch me heat this whole thing, but all right. Let me see if it's starting to loosen up at all. Uh, not yet. All right, I'm just gonna heat it for about two or three minutes. I'll be okay, right Okay, it's starting to get pliable. Where are we at now? Um, I took the screw out because the screw was causing a little bit of interference. Uh, I may have to reposition the screw, but one of the good techniques to this is put it in the opposite way so that it does what you're trying to do. That's a technique, you can try it, or I have made like a block or something that goes in there to try to open it up. You, the thing is, you don't wanna get this too far off because then it's hard to get the screw back together. So I'm gonna heat this up just a little bit more and we're gonna keep molding, we're gonna keep working it. And if you wanna know what my heat gun's on, it's set on 600 now, but I keep it back a little bit. You don't want this thing to get too hot. It'll start deforming the rest of the holster. So that's one reason I had the cloth over it up here. I just didn't wanna deform it at all. All right, let's see how we're going here. And I'm even wiggling it around a little bit. I want to create just a little bit of space where it's not too tight in there. It's going to take some more molding. And you don't have to watch me do all of it, but you see kind of what I'm doing here to make sure it's going to fit correctly. We'll be right back. All right, so I was working it for two or three minutes, and I'm just heating the last of it. It got this end kind of bigger, and then it's just a little bit there in the middle. I'm spraying it inside, still not getting it hot down here in the middle of it. But once you get it almost to where you need it, I'm going to put just a little bit of downward pressure on it. And... All right, there it goes, there. Uh, now it's in there solid and it's gonna cool off and it's gonna stay in that form and then I'm gonna have to Dremel out just the inside just to have a little bit of space in there so it's not tight, too tight going in there. And I'm gonna put the cover and stuff back on and I'm gonna try to get the, the whole line back up. This little ramp here, I may have to reposition the hole to further down here for the screw because the comp is kind of slightly blocking it if you can see it. So you just gotta keep working with it. Uh, here, I'll let you know, we'll get right back to it. All right, so our fitment is pretty good. It's, you see, it takes a little bit of pressure at the bottom, but that's what we're about to take care of right now. And I mean, it comes back out okay, but it's kind of tight down here. So basically we're about to use the Dremel and we're gonna Dremel out a little bit in here where it's pretty tight. And that will just give it a little bit extra space. Also, the other place you might wanna Dremel is, let me turn it where you can see it, is right around in here, these bottom teeth right here they tend to catch on the way out, they catch on your comp when you have something longer on there because it's made to go in at a certain angle and then the weapon comes back out. But if it tries to cant ahead of time, you'll catch the teeth on there. So I'm, you don't have to watch me Dremel these out in here and then Dremel out the bottom, but I'll show you the results in just one minute. Okay, I got the, uh, the Dremel work done. I had to Dremel out, like I said, in here. I kind of turned it sideways. See how it's, I mean, try to turn it where you can see it. It's smooth in there. And then I took some uh, sandpaper and just kind of hand sanded in there with my hand. Boy, I'd be glad you didn't see there's a lot of mess coming out here and stuff from some of this uh, fuzz and stuff when I was down in here. 
But uh, down in here, I got it dremeled out. I actually had to reposition this hole further down because uh, it's got this little bull nose on it uh, here under it that was kind of blocking half the channel. So I just moved it down, put everything back together. Let me finish tightening it just to make sure we're good. All right, now, moment of truth. We're going to see, is it going to work? I mean, I'm sure it'll take a little bit of work in getting it in and out, but it uh, appears to work fine. Button locks in, will not come out of there. Pretty happy with it. We did it again, boys. Okay, I think the biggest part was getting all this cleaned up. I still have fuzz and stuff like that everywhere laying over here. But you know what, it's all good because it paid off in the long run. Look at that, the comp fits in, no problem. You don't even see any of the comp sticking out down here at the bottom. As I said, I have had to reposition my screw. I had to do some dremeling inside here. I had to do some uh, remolding with heat in here like you saw me doing and then dremel a little bit to smooth it out. But you know what? What's, uh, you know, what's 30 minutes of your time to keep from having to buy another $200 holster? And then what are you gonna do with this holster if you had to buy another one? So, hey, you might as well use what you need. Don't what you don't. Works good, lasts a long time. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to comment on it. If you've had different experiences trying to repurpose or remold your holsters, I mean, you can put it in the comments. I mess with uh, Kydex and holsters and stuff quite a bit, so it wasn't that big a chore. Some of you, if you don't have the right equipment, like the heat gun, it, it might be a bigger chore, I don't know. But uh, other than that, I mean, I thought it was a pretty easy process. It fits good, like I said, locks in good, lasts a long time, and it fits the comp with the original holster. So, you know what? I'm gonna keep doing it. I've got a couple other holsters that are getting comps or, or get weapons that are getting comps that go in different holsters and I'm gonna have to do the same thing. So let us know what you thought about it. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the didn't like twice. So then and when you get done, you can still like, subscribe and share. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. That's a Richter guy's opinion.